Phoenix. My name is Heidi. How can I help you? Yeah, what's going on, Heidi? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How can I help you? That's good to hear. Yes, uh, listen, I, uh, j I was in the gym earlier. Uh, I don't really want to give my name, but I lost a pair of Oakley sunglasses. Very expensive. We're talking about well over $100 here. And I need to know, listen, uh, has somebody in there turned them in or found them, perhaps? Let me check our lost and found. Because right. I'm highly skeptical. I saw an, uh, uh, an employee who might have been wearing them on his way out. Uh, I mean, that's a possibility. So, uh, listen, I, I don't want to besmirch the name of Planet Fitness here and uh, make certain accusations and whatnot. But, yeah, possibly an employee did that hijack my sunglasses from my person and wear them as he made his grand exit out of the facility. So, I mean, that's very concerning to me. Yeah, so I just checked the uh, lost and found, and I can't seem to find any of those sunglasses. Can you yep. tell, Can you describe the worker? That you think uh, took your sunglasses? He was either uh, a Caucasian or Hispanic, uh, average height and weight, uh, uh, short, uh, brown hair, perhaps. Uh, I mean, these are, I, I only have vague uh, memories of him because I was fixated on the sunglasses that he was wearing. So, I mean, that's what um, sticks out most in my mind here. Okay, can you tell me if he was uh, actually can you tell me uh, what kind of hair texture he had like if he had curly hair or straight hair or short uh, hair straight short short and straight you know he uh I, I mean looked like pubes on his head sorry to be graphic but you're asking me here uh, to be direct here and be very descriptive with with my utilization of of words and whatnot and okay, he might, listen, you... listen, he might have been uh, homosexual, I, I don't know, because uh, I could see his eyes through the sunglasses because a gleam of sun caught right on the, uh, the, the front of the glasses there, and he appeared to be uh, looking at me seductively. I, listen, I'm not making accusations here. Uh, you're asking me to be descriptive, and so that's what I'm trying to do. So, so if there's a homosexual uh, employee there, uh, described as I described him, well, looking as I described, uh, I mean, that's our culprit, I, w I would believe. Okay, you had me until the last part. That's a uh, culprit. Uh, that, that's the suspect. That's the individual, uh, you know, who committed this uh, situation, this crime, I would say. Okay, can you tell me which day this incident uh, occurred? This was today. This was uh, earlier today. Possibly this morning, uh, I, I didn't keep an, uh, a keen eye on the time and whatnot. I wasn't watching my cell phone uh, display and all that. I don't have a watch. Uh, you know, at some point in the morning, uh, you know. Okay, so I'll be sure to write this down and get to investigating. As yeah. of right now, I have, uh, I need to talk with the employees yeah. to see if they saw anything. And, listen, and who listen, it was. listen, he might have been uh, physically aroused. Uh, he might have been. That's, that's all I can say. He was licking his lips. I mean, there was a tender licking of the lips, looking at me seductively. Uh, I mean, so we're talking about a, uh, some, some sort of a criminal homosexual that's what was, uh, so a homosexual possibly with a criminal record here that's what we're uh, we we need to look at here okay so can you give me your phone number uh i can give you my email address i really don't want to give out my phone number uh i'm a very leery of doing things like that but listen i get direct emails all the time uh, i get notifications all the time so I, i'll be able to respond so in order goodness. for me to help you i need to go into your membership so in yeah. order to get into your membership i would need either your first and last name or your phone number i really can't give out identifying information that was the problem with telling you my name at the start of this call because uh i don't want to be accused of a hate crime i, I don't want to be told targeted uh, for retaliation from this uh, criminalistic homosexual that you got working there. Uh, so, I mean, this, cause that would be very tragic to my family and whatnot. Listen, I, I have a young son I, and daughter. Uh, so, uh, I mean, 
Uh, w w yeah. So I mean, that would be no good. Uh, them growing up without without uh, the proper parenting that they need uh, throughout the course of their career as human beings. Okay. So, uh, other than asking a couple of employees, yeah, and maybe checking some cameras, right. even though you can't tell me like what specific time, yeah, that's all I can offer. Oh, I see. So you're covering up for these hooligans then. Is that because that's what I'm getting from this. You know exactly who I'm talking about here. The uh, uh, criminal homosexual. He's probably a good friend of yours, co-worker of yours. You probably have known him a, a long amount of time. So, I mean, what I gather from what I gather, uh, you're, you're just sweeping this under the rug. That's what this sounds like to me. Sir, you have literally described no one in the facility by that description. A homosexual short man with straight hair. No average one of height, that I said. Average, average height. Hat, yeah. Average height. You have described no one who works here. How? So you know the sexual orientation of all your coworkers? That is not my information to be given out or for me to receive. Okay, so you don't know then. So possibly there is a rogue homosexual working there with a criminal record uh, who does these kind of things, uh, you know, procures uh, items and whatnot from from uh, patrons who entered the facility. I mean, yes, I mean, this is very dangerous. There, there could be lawsuits here. Uh, police brought in FBI. I mean, we're talking about the whole, uh, a whole big circus uh, getting involved in this. Okay. Yeah. So, do you have anything else I can help you with? I mean, listen, I'm going to have to, I don't know, I'm going to have to go back there today. I'm going to have to try to locate and find this man. And I'm going to have to shake him down for these sunglasses because I don't know what else to do here because uh, you don't seem too cooperative. You're, you're saying that this guy doesn't work there. And I'm telling you, without question, there is a Michael Jackson looking son of a bitch that works at that facility uh, with short hair. Yeah, okay, Michael, sir, Michael Jackson. Yes, yes. Sir, no, you know, you're not going to speak like that over the phone. I'm sorry. I'm not going to take that kind of language. Okay, so if you have any more problems. You could tell me right now. Other than that, this conversation is over. All right. One last thing. Is there any way I can get your phone number? Maybe maybe I could take you to dinner or something? 